In these problems, we are going to use a calculator to get a value that approximate these trigonometric functions. So the cosine of 12 degrees, the tangent of 72 degrees, etc. The only tricky part about this is making sure you know how to use your calculator with these trigonometric functions. Most scientific calculators are going to have a sine, cosine, and tangent button. I'm just using the calculator here from Windows 10. And the only way you could really go wrong on this is if it's not in degrees. You see, this says 12 degrees here. Degrees, that's a, a way to measure the distance around a circle. But there are other ways. There's something called radians. In fact, if I click on this degree button, I put it into radians, uh, or I can put it into gradients. And you know, so if you accidentally click on this button and it doesn't say DEG for degrees, you're going to get an answer that doesn't match. So make sure it's in degrees. And then all you really have to do is type in the number of degrees, so 12, and then hit the, the cosine function for the cosine. So the cosine of 12 degrees is 0 0.98 if we're rounding to the nearest hundredth. So 0 0.98. All right, and let's try the tangent of 72. So I'll just type in 72 and hit the tangent. And I've got 3.08 for that one. All right, and finally, the sine of 59, and we get 0 0.86. So that's really all there is to using a calculator to evaluate these uh, tangent functions.